Hello again! In this vlog I'm still in London at the Kensington Dolls House Festival. Last week I promised you I would talk some more about Cornelis on Gallery. And here is the lovely Nelly who was a little bit shy being on camera but she did allow me to film her. And she is the one who paints all these miniature oil paintings. Some based on famous paintings and some are created by her own imagination. And in the background there is Cornelison Gallery, which is a play on words because Cornelison Gallery, uh, Cornelison is a, a very famous art supply store in London. Uh, so Nellie McKay added her own name to it. And in there she displays her miniature works of art. And on the left here is a miniature version, or rather Nelly's miniature version, of Cornelis Springer. <laughs> you see what she did here? Cornelis, Cornelissen, Cornelissen. <laughs> Cornelis Springer's Zuiderhavendijk in Enkhuizen. And Enkhuizen is a town north of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. The original of this painting from 6068 hangs in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. And Nelly did something wonderful with her miniature version. She added the facade of her miniature gallery to her version of the painting. And there's something else that's special about this miniature painting. And for that we have to go to the Cornelissen Gallery website. So this is the website of Cornelissen Gallery and it's really fun. Because if you go up here to the gallery and then to virtual gallery, gallery, click that. And then there's a whole introduction and it will tell you what to do. But in short, if you see these umbrellas in the picture, and this is the picture you saw on their stand in uh, the, on the Kensington Dolls House Fair. Click on that umbrella and here is a virtual image of Enkhuizen and then you can go right inside and again there's an introduction which I will skip for now and then it will take you inside the gallery and all these paintings well I'm not sure if it's all of them but lots of them you can click and then you get information and this has all been made by Martin and you can scroll around and everything is interactive and it's so much fun and so clever and here if you click on the painting of the girl with the pearl earring the girl with the pearl oh I'm sorry I didn't realize you had company and you scroll around the room, you can see all these characters by Vermeer and uh, Martin animated them. And they're talking in Dutch and they're just little clips. So, but for me, it's really fun. <laughs> and this is the Arnolfini portrait I told you about last uh, vlog. And then you can go outside again. So, anyway, um, they did allow me to use this footage um, from their website in my vlog, but I do strongly suggest uh, go and have a look. It's so much fun. And Martin has done a wonderful job of creating this interactive website. Okay, back to the fair. And here we have Beef Miniatures. And I really like his work. He always has the most beautiful furniture and small wooden miniatures on his table. And um, for instance, this toilet table, 
with all the detail in it. It's just wonderful. And in a minute, he will give me a demonstration of his piano. I started making it because most pianos have plastic keyboards. Right. And they just don't look right to me. No, no, so no, I was no, desperate no. to make a proper keyboard. So and the whole piano sort of evolved from that. So yes, they do. They are individual keys, you see. And they're all oh, pressed down. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it doesn't play. But no, 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 no. It has got strings, but it doesn't play. Really? Oh, yeah. I'll show you inside. Oh, please do. Yeah, there you go. So it's strung there. And then it's got Venetian swell. This knee lever underneath there. They push that up. And those flaps at the side go up. There. Oh, yes, I so you can control the volume. Yeah. Oh, that's it, the volume control. Yes. And then you've got the soundboard and everything under there. Oops, I've just knocked it down. Beautiful. Um, it, it would have been a very, a quite expensive piano, the real thing, because right. with, with the Venetian swell, they were quite unusual. But it's the same mechanism as an organ uses. Right. The swell on an organ is, is like a Venetian blind. And these I really liked. And here's the Queen, the Coronation, Prince Charles. And maybe it's because they're so small, they're 48 scale, that I really like them. Look, the Queen <laughs> uh, and some Georgian uh, couples. But um, yeah, the smaller they are, the better. I, I quite like these. And this is the work of the talented Alexandra Cantatore of Alamiki Mikri. I always have problems with that name. And she makes wonderful um, miniatures, uh, painters' furniture and accessories. And this piece was my favorite. And she told me it was based on the workshop of her art teacher, or rather her anatomy teacher in art school. And lastly today, this is the work of Abby Trotman of Tobacco and Regret, a name which refers to her grandmother, who was a smoker. And I like her work because it shows a more contemporary approach to miniatures, different from the conventional doll's house miniatures. And her scenes are a little bit offbeat and often challenging and quietly subversive, as she describes it herself. <laughs> And I like that there are subtle narratives and hidden messages in her scenes. And these uh, following three pieces are a series of pieces she made. And in her catalog, she says the following. Obsession, number one, the outcast. This piece depicts the log cabin of an outcast and vigilante bomb maker, loosely based on the Unabomber case. And the second one is Obsession number two, The Investigator. As part of the same series, this piece depicts the chaotic office of the detective who's trying to hunt down the bomb maker. He's also obsessed with solving a cold case involving a stalker, which is the next one. And Obsession number three is The Photographer. This is the dark room of the photographer. He's obsessed with his muse, who is completely unaware of his existence. He's admired her for years and it won't be long until they meet for real. He knows the detective was on to him, but he also knows that he can outsmart him. He can outsmart anyone. <laughs> it's, it's a bit dark, but also very funny. And um, I really, really liked her scenes. I was going to show you the antiques markets and shops next, where we also found some miniatures. But then this video would be half an hour long, so I have edited it out and I'm saving it for another week. Because the next thing I'll show you are my purchases from the fair, as promised. This video is going to be really long, but um, I promised you that I would show you what I bought. So I will unpack a few things. And the first box is from Veronique Lux. And actually that was the first stall I went to. And oh, look at this. I just couldn't resist. And I'm not really a doll person, but I do really love 
these little stuffed toys. Look at this one. And maybe I'll do a more in-depth um, show and tell <laughs> next week because, as I said, this video is going to be really long. And here's the, um, okay, yeah, there's a trick to getting that uh, bird to swing. And I'll show you next week. But, yeah, I did buy the bird cage. I really like that one. And, of course, a sheep. If you follow my, um, if you follow, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I like sheep in my bedroom. So I have quite a collection of them. And um, here's a, um, another stuffed animal. Or two, actually. They're a pair of uh, hedgehogs. And they just reminded me of a, a stife hedgehogs, which I had as a child. I have no idea where they are now, but I just really like them. So put those aside. Can you see that? I don't know. Maybe I have to pull them this way a little bit. And where is the other? Here's another box. And I'll quickly take this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valeria Grafia Luna. I bought some really wonderful boots. Yeah, love these as well. And actually, these are my first pair of Valeria shoes. I didn't know, I, did, I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't have any by her. And here is, who made this? Um, country Treasures, I think they're called. I'll, I'll unpack it next week, but it's, it's, I love it. It's a blue tit on a sandwich. That's fantastic. It looks so good in the garden. And there is... This is from also from Country Treasures, a copper poster, I think it's called. I really like that. Beautiful. As you know, I love copper. And <laughs> oh, that's another one. Where's yeah? Yeah. And just as I, I, they had these copper plates and I thought, oh yeah, I'll get a couple of those. And just as I was getting them, um, someone else beat me to it <laughs> and there was only one left. Oh well, these things happen, these things happen. Um, I got this one anyway. And then here um, are some lovely tools. They're not working. I think they're, it's called, um, the company's called Newport Miniatures. I'll have to look that up and I'll show you better next week. And I bought some um, I, I've looked at these for a long time. Um, what do you call them? Sea side buckets? I don't know. What else is in here? Okay, these are a little bit mixed up because I tried to pack as small as I could. So these are plastic plant pots. And I love these because, I mean, they've got the holes in there and everything. Oop. And you know, these are by... I'll look it up and I'll write it up because I keep forgetting the names. Um, and this is a different company. Uh, no, actually not. No, this is the same one. And it's a filled first aid kit. I love this. <laughs> and again. 
more detail next week. And then this is a different uh, hockey stick. Uh, I played hockey, uh, field hockey, when I was younger. Lovely uh, chocolate eggs. And chocolate bunny. Yum. <laughs> and this is a beautiful, beautiful light by Ro Ro <laughs> Rohit Miniatures. I think you may have spotted it on the table. And um, my friend actually got the same one. We have very similar tastes. And actually she bought this one as well because I showed it to her that there was only one left. Um, and then oh, I bought these um, Chinese lions or dogs. I'm not sure what they're called. Fu. Um, I'll have to look that up. I, I can't remember these names. And a wonderful little oil can. I love that. That's for my workshop. And um, uh, a petrol... Uh, what is that called? A uh, jerry can. Petrol can. And she forgot to put that in the box. But um, I went back and... Uh, well, they're busy, so... And then I bought some really beautiful things. Now, this is by um, Tony. Uh, Tony Knot. <laughs> Where did I get that? Not Tony Knot. <laughs> Why did I say that? Mike Sparrow. Um, and I'll show you again. I'll show you in more detail because this video is going to be incredibly long. Beautiful teapot. A... Um, ink stand. Gosh, I couldn't, couldn't even remember. And then uh, I have a shoehorn or two shoehorns. Lovely shoehorns. And that is part of the. Ah, this one I can just look back like that. Little tray. Mike Sparrow, and I, as you know, I love silver. I didn't buy anything from Yen's store because there is one thing I want and it is a lot of money and I need to save for that. Uh, although, <laughs> looking at all this, that's not happening. Well, it is. Um, let me see what was in here. Ah, yes, this is another silver. This is a Dutch tea caddy from another silver. Let me check what was his name again. Because my brain is not working. Um, his name, you see, he was on the lower uh, floor. see it. Was he on the top floor? I thought it was on the lower floor. Art Forge. Yeah, of course. Art Forge. Yes, sorry about that. So, a little... And then, ah, uh, this, yeah. This was one of the another purchase from the antiques market. Um, just a few pounds, and it again it's a little bit big, but I like it just to um, maybe put some plants in there as a planter. I don't know yet. I just liked it. So I think that was it. <laughs> Plenty of stuff. Um, I need to, yeah, that was it. 
I find anything else, I'll show you next time. Um, sorry about this this quick uh, show and tell. Uh, I will do more and better detail and I unpack it next time. But as I said, this is going to be such a long video. So see you next time.